Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Mami J and Nene World. And of course, welcome back to our Microsoft Excel tutorial, basic to advanced. And please guys, I'm just requesting you to kindly like and subscribe. And guys, if you learned something in this video, and if you know someone who might need this video, so kindly share it with them. Thank you. Hi guys, so again, we'll open our basic Excel tutorial. So I save it in my desktop, so I will just do the, the, the double click on it. And as I told you, wherever it is, if you don't know, you will just search in your in your search bar and you will find it. And I know by this time it's our part 3, so I'm sure you know already how to do it. So now guys, so I just open my Excel. So if you will see, this is exactly the same of what we've done last time. Today, we will talk about the sheetwise in workbook. As I said earlier, this is a workbook. And each workbook, it has sheet, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, and so on. Actually, guys, sheetwise is unlimited. It is based on the memory of your computer. So now we will talk about this. If you will come to sheet, sheet wise and you will do the right click, you will see there is insert, delete, rename, move, move or copy. We will discuss all of this. So now we'll start on insert. So if you're going to do the insert, just click it just by press the mouse. You can insert a new worksheet. Okay. And then you can add another worksheet on it. So this is our worksheet, sheet number one and this is the new one that you did second thing right click insert you will see many things guys you can insert chart you can insert the formula the basic everything all of this you can do it and i'm, I'm gonna teach it to you on the advanced topic so guys i'm gonna close it so, if you will see there is plus here, so I can keep click it if you want a new worksheet. Just click it. And if you want to insert a worksheet here beside of your workbook, you just click plus. So, your new worksheet will be beside of your working uh, workbook. If you want to be at the last side, so if you're in sheet 10, you will just click here. You'll have sheet 12, you have sheet 13, 14, 15, and so on. And if you want to delete it, you can just right click and delete. Right click, delete. Right click, delete. Guys, must, but be very careful because the moment that you delete this, you will never, you cannot undo it. Unlike if you will delete something inside of the workbook, you can del you can undo. But here, or you can recover it. So you see, I cannot see the sheet 1 because I created until sheet 14. So you can just click over here. You can click, click, click until it comes. Okay, then I'm going to delete this. I don't need this. And delete this. So now we are in by the port 3 worksheet. Guys, then right click. Next is move or copy. Then if you want to move it or you want to create a copy, like if you will see, this Mami J and Nene Word business is in my sheet 1. And I want to sh copy it in my sheet 2. Right now, my sheet 2 is empty, right? So again, I just come here, right click, move or copy. So this workbook, I want to copy on my sheet 2, then I will just create copy. Then OK. So if you will see now, in my sheet 2, I have the same. This is my sheet 1, Mami J and Nene World Business, and this is my sheet 2. So this is like, for example, if you want only to edit something. Now, for example, I want to see in this the total quantity, cost, and retail. So I'm going to delete this, right click, and delete. So I don't want to see all of this. 
so I'm going to delete. In here, I can see only how much the quantity that I bought, how much the cost, how much I bought it, and then how much I'm gonna sell it. So this is what only I want. This is what I want to see in my sheet two. So this is my sheet one. So I want to rename it as my master file, where I can see all the details. And then it's rename, rename. So guys, I can just do it right click, rename, and I can put, um, I can do um, just details. I can put as a details, then enter. Enter. Or I can do also a double click, guys. If I want to do a double click, like for example, I want to add here a personal inventory. Personal inventory. Again. So now I have three worksheets, guys. I have master file. And I, if you want to color it, just right click and you will see there is a color here. So I want to make it red color. And in details, I want to make it um yellow color and my personal inventory i want to make it um, blue color Ayan. so you will see everything is having a color and guys you can do a protect you can protect your sheet like for example you don't want everybody to touch your sheet so you will just select lock cells, means you want to lock yourself and you want to unlock your cells as well. So and you want to put and you want to put a password on it. So I want to put like my password is one, two, three, four. Okay. Then again to confirm your password, one, two, three, four. Enter. Then if you will see guys here. No one can type. See, I cannot type. Even they want to type anywhere on the sale, they cannot type because you lock it. Only you can do it. You can just unlock it by right click, unprotect it, put your password, one, two, three, four. Okay. Then the moment that you put your password, again, you can type it. So you can do whatever you want, guys. You can lock. You can lock your full work workbook, or if you want, you can lock only your uh, deleting. Like for example, I don't want them to delete any column or any row, so I will just highlight delete columns and delete rows. Then I'll put it. So now, if someone want to delete rows, right click delete is unable because no one can delete it row right click delete is unable because you lock it so nobody can delete your work so anything guys anything that you want to protect from your workbook you can do you can just insert column and row you don't like them to insert so you don't you don't like them to do all of this work you will just simply click it and create a password so that's the way of have that's the reason why the password so this is the way how to protect your workbook so nobody can touch they can see it but they cannot touch it so if you have some confidential things for example you don't want your personal inventory to be seen like for example i have my personal inventory here so uh, for example i have my salary board i have my salary so I want to put here the income expenses and I just drag it as I said drag it so how much is your income let's say your income is 10,000 and you just highlight everything and you put comma so you will not confuse and remove the zero click this and then how much what is your other expenses house rent um, electricity electricity and water 
your Wi-Fi, if you have a Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and load, if you have load, and your food, your toiletries, toiletries and others, toiletries and others. Ayan. For example, your salary is 10,000, your house rent is 2,000, your electricity is might be 1,000, and then your Wi-Fi load is, and load is 500, your eating is 1,000, your eating 1,000, and your toilet is just like, say, your 300 in a month. And then, guys, as I told you, if you want to get your total, and guys, total, you will just highlight all, auto sum. Then, this one, you will just drag it. And you will get it. Now, if you will see how much is your save, how much is your savings, and then what you can do, you can just put equals my total income minus my total expenses. Enter. And guys, we forget, maybe you're helping, you're sending a money to your loved one. So your remittance, you're always sending like 3,000 here. So, you have 2,200 when you, and for example, guys, you have details, and how much you sold here? Here, sold quantity as of July, for example, July 30. So, how much you sold as of July 30? Um, like, for example, I sold 5. I sold here, I sold all five, I sold ten, I sold three, I sold one, I sold twenty, I sold fifteen, I sold ten. So guys, then again, what is our formula to get your um, total, total cost? Total, so you will get your total cost how much your total cost in this amount so you will just your sold quantity into cost enter and then you just simply drag it so this is your um, total cost this is total cost, yes. And then, your total retail price, your total retail price is equal quantity into retail price. How much you sold it, then drag it, and you will get it. And how much you earn on this month, earnings for this month is equals 350 minus 250 so this is your earnings so you will just simply drag it so you will see how much you total on and guys since this is already formulated you will just drag it because as i said your formula will run for the same so guys if you will see, so if you want to make it nice, you can just simply border all. You can just all borders. And this, how to make it in, in, it in center, what you're going to do. I discussed it on the part one. So it all. And then if you will see here, margin center, center is already highlighted. Means it's already used. So you will click it. So it will be gone. And then again, click it. So it will be in the center. And then if you want everything to be in center, you will just click center. And then this, if you want to make it small, but you want to read everything, what you will do, you will click wrap text. Once you click the wrap text, it will go down. And you can adjust your rate. So now this is your earning. So guys, see this month you have 2135 earning so you can highlight it and 
Now you can add it in your personal inventory. This is earning from part time. So how much you earn? It is two thousand one hundred thirty-five. So here you will type two thousand one hundred thirty-five. So it's automatically, guys. It is. It will change because it's all formulated. And then again, if you want to put a header, you will just highlight it, right click, insert, and then you will put your inventory. So you can put inventory or you can put July inventory. Then you will merge it in the center so it will be not look nice. And if you then again, so that there will be a space in between. So instead of right click, I will use the shortcut key, Control Shift Plus. So there is added. Now I want also from here. So I will just put Control Shift Plus. So it's added. I want to color my savings. So I will know how much is my savings. And I will just highlight my total also. And then again, I want to have a box on this. Then I want to highlight this. So it's up to you guys. You can do whatever you want. And then you can do body it. You can write anything. Like you can put a uh, details. You can put details. If then I will change. I will change the font. I want this to be a nice one. I want to change it into Berlinsan FB. I will increase the height. So it's up to you. It's up to you how you want your um workbook will be look good in your eyes. So. Now so if you don't like anybody to see your workbook, like if someone, if other people are using your laptop or you're using your desktop, so what you can do, you just hide it. You can hide it here. So there is a hide here. So you just click hide. So it's not there. Then if you want to unhide it, you will just click it and hide. So here actually you can hide as many, many sheet as you want so if you want to unhide it you can just click ok so inventory will come so if you want to hide the inventory and you want to hide also your details so no one can see so you can hide it then again if you want to see it you can just unhide it and from here you will choose which one you want to unhide like I want to unhide my personal inventory Chan. and so it's here guys so that's it guys hope you learned something new today like and subscribe